Hey everyone, the refit is done. It's time to go cruising. But here for our last refit video, you can see the final steps of putting it together in the sea trials. So let's go. Hi, I'm Rosie. And I'm Jim. And this is Cruising Sea Venture. For the end of the poles. Yep. They go in like that. And then they have these guys that go like that. My floor, Jim. And the view from up here. Check it out. I can see the water. Nice. Here we are on the side deck and they are getting ready to spot weld the supports for the paraben poles. And you can see the parts are here and this is fireproof paper. So when they do the spot welding, they don't hurt the boat. All right, they're working on getting the superstructure uh, bolted in upstairs. And this has big, big aluminum feet that have to be bolted through the hull. And on the forward port one, well, there's just a few wires in the way. So we have to, do a little rerouting of the wiring. Yes, love it. All right. So Let's this is the support I spot welded in. No. Um, come on, we're gonna break the bottle or we're good? Got it. I think you're sitting out of the water in Port Townsend, living large in a parking lot right now. While the refit continues, we took our first provisioning run for the summer. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of food. And if you've watched any of our videos, you have to know, of course. This is all in a spreadsheet. We know exactly what we used last year, what we have on board, what we've bought, the total quantity, how long it should last, and exactly where it's all going to be stored in the boat. It's provision run number one completed. All right, here's our superstructure back in the building after it was up on the boat. 
Um, they needed to do some more welding to put our SciTech radar back on and who knows what else, but what it does do, oh, and put our little bars on for all of our antennas. So what it does do is give us an opportunity to put all the electronics on while it's at hip level. Awesome compared to the top of a ladder. And so now we're just getting started and the first thing we've done is one of our spreader lights. Here's our superstructure in the shop on the back. Got anchor light, running light installed. We're starting to get antennas installed. More antennas over here. It's kind of hard to see through everything right now, but it's coming together. Here's round two of provisioning. We did another run to the store and got kind of the incidental things that you don't get at the big box store. Um, but actually this should pretty much do it except for fresh goods. So it's nice to get this on board and put away. All right, we're in back in the big uh, warehouse where Sea Venture was a few months back. And our superstructure is here on its side, as Jim showed you earlier. And we spent the day attaching all of the antennas. This one's a little crooked just because it would get in people's way to walk about. So it's just sitting in place until we are ready to take her outside. Um, and you can see there's another one on the other side. A couple things to finish up right before we head outside. But for now, it's about done. Jim has... Um, cinched up all the wires and we have tied them to the supports and we have it uh, going down the pole ready to be mounted on the boat and then reconnected. Looking good. So on the wires we had a couple options and one was to try to drill holes in the tubes and run them through all the tubes so the wires weren't surface mounted like we've done. Obviously you can see we've decided not to do that. We decided that we could actually probably do that, but it would create some chase points where they come in and out of the tubes. And I'm pretty confident that uh, once in, we could we really struggle to get a wire out, and we probably would never be able to add anything in, and that didn't seem to make any sense long term. So everything surface mounted, um, sticking with our ocean-going industrial look. Jim is coating the bottom of these stainless steel stanchions with some stuff called, can you show us? Tef gel. Tef gel. Where it intersects with the aluminum. So we just wanted to mention that yes, we do have these metals going on, the aluminum and the stainless steel, and the way to combat that or work with that is to use this uh, Tef gel product. And evidently it will, uh, stop that bad reaction between the two metals and uh you know five six seven years from now you want to take it apart it will come right apart so that's the deal so it goes on the stanchions it goes through the through the little holes, yeah, holes where the screws go on the back side of the knots and we're just finishing up the superstructure it gets stood up tomorrow and back on the boat Yay! For good! Hooray! Here we're doing a test fit of the port paravane pole and making sure that there's a clearance for the forestay so it doesn't interfere with the deck rail, which it does not. Almost like it was designed that way. We're, we've been working on the new boom and the winch motors. We've got everything just temporarily hooked up. It all works. So getting our cable lengths right, I think all we're in a good up spot. There. So our initial test indicates the end of the boom, we can swing out seven feet past the end of the boat and we can tip it up to 80 degrees. So we're doing great. Everything's looking good. So now we've got to take it apart, get our cables, actually uh, rope, synthetic rope, the right length. 
and get all the wiring permanently installed. All right, Sea Venture is at the work dock at Port Townsend. She is waiting for the final install of the paravane poles and we're getting ready to do that right now. Jeez, that's beautiful. Look at that. Measuring for the safety line. All right, it's a rainy day and we're leaving Port Townsend. And we're leaving it with the whole project complete. Woohoo! All right, the poles are out for the first time. We just lowered them. And we had a we have a little bungee on the fish line that we loosen a little bit to do the lowering but it still holds it snug until we're ready to put the fish in the water all right here's our starboard fish in the water first time maiden voyage sea trial whatever you want to call it but i think we got her set up and we'll walk around on this fine rainy day and here's the port side they're looking like they're um Staying pretty flat in the water. They're not spinning around. The tops of the poles aren't doing anything crazy. It's all pretty steady. Looks good. Okay, we're beamed to a ship wake. And normally, we would be going for quite a ride. And we are under five degrees roll. Sweet. Very exciting. Look at those things. I don't hope you can see them, but... They're definitely significant in our old world and while we're bouncing around a bit not bad not bad at all nice there's you and the bow with passing boats oh yeah but he's going farther away. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Thanks for watching our refit series. I hope you enjoyed it. We've had a lot of fun doing it. This is the last refit video because it is time, seriously time, to leave the dock and go cruising for the for the summer of 2018. So we couldn't be more delighted with the end result of the refit. I think it came out great. It's a bigger system than we in first vision. And as you, if you've watched all the refits, you know, it cost a little <laughs> bit more than we first envisioned, but the cost was not the driving factor for us. It was the end result. Have and not totaled all the receipts yet. So maybe a little bit afraid to, but it's all paid. That's good. So it's, uh, I think it came out to about $130,000 total. I think about 105,000 was at the co-op and the other 25,000 was add-ons and hotels and ferries and stuff we did separately, adding the second radar, all those kind of things. But couldn't be more delighted. Time to go find some great cruising grounds and some rough water just for fun. We haven't really had a chance to test the pair veins in really rough water. So we're looking forward to getting out and getting an opportunity to do that as well. Yeah, so we're gonna start the summer going and looking for 30 knots of wind. Really? And sure, <laughs> sure, why not? So Rosie, our yes. summer cruising plans. We are gonna take off, we're heading north to Southeast Alaska and we are gonna check out uh, Glacier Bay, Juneau, Skagway, maybe, uh, and just check Sitka. out some of the hot spots in that area. Yeah, a couple bear observatories up there. Yep. Um, we got, you have to have a permit to go into Glacier Bay National Park, and we got our permit for the 4th of July week. So we'll go so. see what it's like in the middle of the summer. Hopefully we'll see a little sunshine. Yeah. So today is Thursday, May 24th. We're filming this. Yes. We are literally leaving the dock in Everett in, about in the next 10 30 minutes. minutes. Oh, 10 minutes? 30 <laughs> 10, minutes. 30 minutes. I don't know. We're gonna, we decided to film this, turn off the camera, start the engines, yep. and head on our way. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. We've had a great time doing the refit series. Really appreciate your comments and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, post, yeah. them, uh, post them and we'll uh, get back to you. Yep. And um, let's go cruising. Yeah, otherwise, uh, wishing you... No wind, wind and, and flat, flat seas. seas. Bye. Bye, everyone. We spent a couple of days at the work dock. And while we were there one day, we filmed the crazy busy activity that's going on at the work dock in Port Townsend. They wow. have three lifts and they're all extremely busy. So just watch the boats coming in and out. I started a little hungry. <laughs> Thank you.